Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are doing our 2023 budget closeout. It's just going to be the cash stuffing closeout. Otherwise, my personal budget closeout I've already done. Basically, like I've told you, I do a mix of both online money management and this cash stuffing. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my 2023 budget closeout for the cash stuffing. So basically, I am going to be, you know, removing some cash, starting it fresh for the year 2024. I will be putting out after this video, basically the kind of, or oh, maybe before this video, I'm really not sure the kind of method I'm going to follow in the next year, the savings challenges, the iPad method, all of those things. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and check those videos out. So I'm going to be taking you through through all of these two binders that I've been using. Savings challenges, I've already, you know, figured out what to do with it. You guys already know about that. But I'm going to share with you all what I'm going to do with the money that is in here, how much money I'm going to remove, how I'm going to adjust it and all of those things. So now without further ado, let's get started. So let me start off with the very important binder first because let's start off with the difficult things, which is this holographic binder, which is also pretty stuffed as you can see. I am going to start off with the medicals, whatever comes across. Uh, so basically, I've also started to use placeholders, but I'm going to tell you guys how I'm going to figure that thing out right now because I really want to start off fresh. And, you know, once you start uh, kind of having some money uh, to organize, you know, making the money grow is different and then organizing that money is different. So now I've got this money to organize well, so I'm going to share it with you all how I'm going to do that. So let me first start off one by one with these categories. First, we've got the medicals and I'm going to remove it. I've got the medical uh, card. I'm going to stop using this because I'm now going to use my iPad to track everything much better. I'm not sure if I still need to have something physically just to tap on in case I don't have my iPad. But let's see what to do. But I'm going to stop using these cards anymore. And also, I might add some more categories. So this was a placeholder of 5,000, which I already have told you guys, like I've got four different bank accounts out of which one is just dedicated to this. But I really want to start it off fresh and not keep this placeholder right now. I would do this placeholder in the start of the year or maybe I should do it now. So I feel like uh, I personally feel it's better to keep like this placeholder right now instead of keeping the cash. So I'm going to still keep the placeholder of 5,000 in medicals. And let's just count how much money is this. Okay, it's 3,000 and plus 5. So that's your 6, 7, 8,000. I think I'm not going to take this money. I'm going to keep this 8,000, uh, which is the 3,000 cash in the medicals itself and carry forward it in the next year. So we're going to keep this here itself. Now we've got vacation money. Vacation money is again something that is quite a stagnant money. I don't see it growing. And of course, in vacations, you spend a lot more. Again, the cards are going to go away. Uh, I've got a 5,000 placeholder over here and I've got 1,000 and 2,000 rupees in vacation. I feel like, again, I'm not going to deduct it. I'm going to keep it with the 5,000 placeholder or should I remove the 5,000 placeholder? Actually, you know what? Let's just keep the 5,000 placeholder and I'm going to keep the vacation money again intact over here. Then we've got our birthday money. Again, I do not want to touch my birthday money. I'm just going to remove the card and I'm just going to check how much money I have in my birthday. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. Okay, so I've got 7,000 rupees and I'm thinking it's better if I keep this 7,000 rupees in my birthday category because I want to grow it. I still have around 8 months, 9, 6, 6 months for my birthday. So I'm still going to let it grow because I'm filming it in December. It's kind of like that. Savings. Yeah, savings is basically rollover. This, of course, is going to get removed from here because this is like a rollover that you should start off fresh. So let's count how much I have in savings. I'm actually going to, you know, start off with the 500 notes because I'll be taking this away. It's basically like whatever I have saved from my spendings. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. That's pretty great. I mean, 4,000 already. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 850. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that's 950, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So that's 5,000 because 950 plus 50. 
so that's 5,000 and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I've got 5,050 rupees in savings, which is absolutely great. I mean, these are additional rollover savings. So yeah, either I will spend it for my like everyday purpose or just put it in bank, but because there's a lot of change, might as well use it for my savings challenges in the near future. So yeah, we have emptied out the savings envelope and this will be like this until I start off my January cash toppings. Emergency fund. Emergency fund, again, I've already added like a placeholder for 10,000 rupees in my bank, but let's count how much we have. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11,000, 12,000 and 12,500 so i'm gonna still keep this 12,500 as it is because again like i told you it's emergency fund don't really want to disturb this category now we've got the bills category this bills category is basically like a year ahead of your credit cards i am going to take it off away i've got a 10,000 placeholder which i'm going to take out because i really want to put this more into like clearing my credit card bills for the year and then start off fresh so let's count how much we have 1000 2000 3000 4000 5000 6000 rupees which is fine so i'm just going to keep um this over here so this completes my bills and bills i'll be starting fresh from the next year so in this uh, binder i've just kept all of my emergency funds i have kept my birthday money i've kept the vacation money and the medicals money which is pretty fine now coming to the blessings folder again i really want to take out all the blessings that i've received in the year because then it's better to start off fresh you know so let's just count how much do i have in here thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand five thousand six thousand six thousand five hundred and hundred that's six thousand six hundred so again this will be going in my bank uh, yeah so blessings we'll be starting it again fresh from the next year now we've got entertainment entertainment again fresh because i'm planning to you know stop uh, the monthly subscription and buy a yearly subscription so the entertainment um envelope might just go away so i've got 1100 which is not that huge amount so just keeping it there then we've got festivals again i'm gonna start festivals fresh this year i didn't use it i will probably skip festivals from next year onwards because i'm not really making any sense of this as of now maybe later in my life i would require this uh cash envelope category so let's count thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand five thousand six thousand seven thousand so that's seven thousand rupees which is pretty good so festivals is done beauty again i'm gonna remove because usually i shop online for beauty products and i rarely go out i stopped going to get my nails done as well because they were getting damaged quite a lot let's just count thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand so i might just keep it sometime like additionally but i'm still gonna clear it out and shopping anyway i'm probably thinking to stop it or maybe i'll keep shopping for vacation times let's see closing it out and i'm gonna keep it so in this i have actually emptied out all of the categories because these were not so important ones so yeah, this is now going to be a fresh start for the year 2024. I'm super excited for this. This was my budget closeout. Now this money, I'm going to put in my bank account and adjust them accordingly. So that's just a gist. So this was the video, guys. I hope you all liked it and found it helpful. If you do, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.